Hello, I'm David D. Hilster, and I'm going to be giving you an overview of Visual Text, which is uh, very much like Visual Studio, but it's for the NLP plus, plus language and the conceptual grammar, and is really an invaluable tool for building text analyzers using uh, TAIs or Text Analysis International's technology. Uh, I'm the principal architect of the GUI here I'll be showing you today. Amnon Myers has done the uh, Visual Text core uh, functionality behind it. So there are pretty much uh, uh, four major areas here. We have the toolbar area, which you can see here, uh, and all the toolbars. We have the, what we call the tabs area here. We have the work, work area here and the output uh, area at the bottom. Um, and the, this version is version 2. This is Visual Text Pro version 2, and it's based on the Code Jack GUI set, uh, which is a C++ uh, GUI. We do have a version 3, which is uh, in alpha right now, and is up to date with Visual Studio 2013, and also the latest from uh, Code Jack. But we're still working on that, and hope to get that out. Uh, in 2014. Um, what we want to do is talk about each of the areas. Uh, the toolbar areas we have the the main toolbars are uh, the uh, the main toolbar, the, the KB toolbar, the knowledge base toolbar, the browser toolbar, uh, we have the debugging toolbar which uh, gives you information about uh, how uh, things that you need to know while you're debugging and we also have uh, the brow uh, the tab uh, toolbar which is this one up here which can move you up and down and get you to places and we also have um, the status toolbar so those are the toolbars here you can see them here tab debug KB browser main status uh, you can turn them on and off if you want to know where those things are the status is down here of course but um, you can play with those. And then we have this, the next area, which is the most important area, is the, um, the, the tab area. And we have the tab area being uh, having the grammar tab, the analyzer tab, tab, and the text tab. The grammar tab is really uh, for the automatic rule generation, where you can put here, um, and we call them just words in this case, and I put city, company, and state. And then that allows you to come over here and classify things and automatically generate rules. For instance, a city let's, or a company. Let's say that um, MD Files was a company. I could uh, click on it here in the text window. And you can see down here, if you are in the grammar tab, you'll see some extra things appear here. City, uh, company, state. And of course, that will change. And you can uh, uh, choose that and then classify that. And those will then become recognized without having to write any rules that's automatically generated. Um, the Anna tab is the tab that has all the analyzer steps in it, which are uh, the first one's tokenized, which is not, uh, you can't see that, that's a, uh, a fixed um, um, pass, but all the rest of the passes are passes that you create or you can get from the libraries. And uh, those passes, if you uh, double click on them, uh, you will get the uh, rules that come up in NLP. Uh, and each one uh, will have whatever you're doing for your analyzer and uh, one of the things you can do is if you right click on this you can add library passes that are already there emails functions KB Traverse uh, remove blank lines uh, those kinds of things so these are things that you can get uh, that are sort of library passes that you can throw in and of course you can put your own library passes in there if you want um, and finally, you have the text uh, tab, which is basically where you would store text. If you click on uh, uh, this, let's uh, get rid of this and click on this, you'll see that uh, that brings up the text, and then you can process that by clicking on the little running man, and that will process. So this is where you keep all of your text. You can see also the samples here. If you double click, you have um, the uh, automatic phrases, the rules, and the phrases that you have classified in the samples area, and that's basically. Uh, again, you can't change that. That's just there for uh, 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 lo looking at what you have. Um, so I think you may be able to put stuff in there. I can't remember, but you can check on that. Um, let's go back to the Anna tab, and I'm going to show you some useful things. Uh, for instance, when we run, we can come up here, and there's some, a few things I want to point out. You have the uh, toggle highlight mode, and you have the toggle uh, generate logs. 
And uh, those are very important because you can see here there's a lot of log files that get generated when we run. If I uh, go ahead and delete uh, the, the children of those, um, get rid of those, uh, get, and you'll see that it's just the text there. And then we run it. If we run it uh, without that, you get the output from the analyzer, but you don't get any logs. That is, you don't get any intermediate steps to do debugging. So we, we rec recommend you put that on, uh, that on and run it. So let's just uh, rerun it. And you'll see now it has all these other logs there. And if you click on this other one, now that you have logs, you can toggle the highlight mode. And then you can come over to the Anna tab and then see literally uh, what has been uh, matched for those uh, particular passes. This is very important when you're doing debugging. So you can see the highlighting changing. Another interesting thing you can do, uh, these are small features that are very invaluable is that you can go ahead and look on this uh, phrase for instance and I want to see just the tree for that output and you can do that so you can go in there and, and basically right click uh, view tree of selected and you'll see the tree here and you can see what's uh, in the tree that's one of the uh, great features of the visual text is you have all these trees available and you can see that not only did it pick up this phrase but it also put uh, the value 14.3 it's a, a million uh, so you can see up here it's just got 14.3, but up here it's got 1.43 times the 10 to the seventh, uh, or, or, or has actually uh, plus a bunch of zeros. So that gets you 14. It gets you the big number you need if you need it for calculations if you're putting this in a database. So uh, that's very handy. And of course you can uh, see up here the output you have here. You can see the view the dump files. If you click on that, you'll get them all. Or you can click on this and you'll see. Um, uh, particular dump files. Those are files that you can uh, dump to during the analysis in the analyzer and put out information to see how things are going. It's usually mostly done for debugging, but often cases we may have output for different types of output. And then of course you have the major output and all this arrow is is an output.txt and uh, that one's uh, our standard it's just a convention that we use for the final output. In this case, you can see sentences and their um, events or companies uh, have been output. Uh, other things you can co come up here and see are, the, of course, the KB, the knowledge base, and the conceptual grammar. You can see we've parsed this, and each sentence has a parse. You can see it's uh, here's a buying event. These things are constructed as well during the parsing and are constructed in the rules files themselves. Uh, so you can come in and see that. If you want to see attributes, you double click on it, and this is actually quite a big window. So if you want to see um, uh, the name of something, a that in case this is, a, this is a company, you can see the actual name. So you can do all this attributes. It's a way of building a knowledge base as you go, as you're parsing in this case. Um, one other uh, thing I want to point out before we close up here is the fact that you can do some automatic generation of rules because you can, you, that means you allow to, for instance, it only happens if you have the toggle logs and um, toggle logs and the uh, highlighting. And um, we will uh, go ahead and put the, uh, the toggle on here. And then when we go ahead and want to make a, uh, a rule for this, let's say we want to add this phrase, uh, the largest text processing firm, and we wanted to add to the money trap. This is a bad example, but we can go ahead and uh, put uh, put this in. We've run it in the again. We've run it in the toggle that is the uh, debug mode, the log mode, and then I want to add this rule. This is one of the most helpful and useful functions I use constantly. It's called generate rule. You click on that, and it goes to that. Uh, highlighted analyzer step that you have and creates a rule for you without you having to, to put all that in. You see that it picked up it's a determiner that's not just the word itself. There's a company marker. Of course this is a stupid rule but it gives you a, 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 an idea of how to make this. Then you can go in here and change this. You can say this is a money thing but of course of course it isn't etc. So that's a very very useful rule. Uh, a, 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 feature of visual text and finally you do have your out, out uh, your log file and uh, many times if I do write a rule here that's 
uh, that's broken or doesn't work, you'll see that show up here and you can double click on that. Uh, and that's the output that's used a lot. And you also see your finds. So if you want to do finds, you'll see all those things there. And some analyzer here, you see it took a, a 406 milliseconds, that sort of thing. So that's a general overview. Uh, the last thing is there is a browser. So you can go here, uh, click on this button. It will bring up a window for a browser. And then you can save that text by saying, um, I'm going to go from uh, save the HTML for this web page because we do do a lot of spidering and so you can save that and then that will go wherever you're clicked here into the text tab so you can save that directly. So I hope you enjoyed this this over, quick overview for uh, Visual Text Pro version 2. Um, again we have version uh, 3 that is an alpha and we're going to be uh, doing that very uh, shortly and hopefully having that out in 2014.